This is called a flag pull stretch or a flag pulling the bar. Uh, flag pulling the bar is a little bit different. I'll go over that in a sec. But the flag pull stretch that we're looking for is with a PVC or a barbell. Uh, have it out front. Put one hand over the other. Straighten out the arms. Push the hips back and drop the chest through. We're looking to get a stretch out of the lats and shoulders. The straighter we keep our arms, it's gonna change that stretch. The more we bend the arms, uh, it's gonna be a different stretch. So mess around with both of those. Once you have your clients do one side, meaning one hand on top, one hand on the bottom, switch it up to the other side, one hand on top, one hand on the bottom. One thing to note though, is make sure that the hips don't push overly back or overextend as they do it, and also make sure they don't tuck under and just round out. So a nice neutral position like we normally ask for everything else, midline nice and tight, push the head and chest through. That's the flag pull stretch. Flag pulling the bar is simply if you're in a class and you need to talk to them and they've got a barbell in their hands, so if you're like, hey, everybody flag pull the bar, stick it straight up and down and you can just talk to them, get your point across nice and easy. If you don't have bearing bars, which are the Olympic bars, that's totally fine to do with the bar. If you do have bearing bars, like high level Oli bars, maybe look to not do many flag pulls.